All praises to the Most High, all praises. Um, this video is about the great whore daughter Babylon, Babylon the Great, Great Britain, the daughter of Babylon. So you have two women for the throne. One is being dethroned and God is throning daughter Zion. A nation is coming out of captivity and another nation is going into captivity. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. And it's about war and your current queen. Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He, f he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So the daughter of Babylon, the daughter of Edom, daughter of the Chaldeans is all one and the same person. When God is speaking about in the Bible, speaking about in Isaiah, Nahum, Revelations, and the great whore. It's the same woman who rules, all right? Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. So right now, the woman who rules, um, that nation who rules of that woman is called tender and delicate. But God's saying, no, 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 come down, sit in the dust. You're no more going to be called tender and delicate. And he says to daughter Zion in Jeremiah 6 and 2, I have likened the daughter Zion to a calmly and delicate woman. And God's saying to the woman in rulership, O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. And then he tells her to sit, come down, sit in the dust. There is no throne. Taking away the rulership from that nation who rules. That woman. Isaiah 40. So we're going to read Isaiah chapter 47 because that's all about her. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take a millstone, grid the mill, uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Remember the day of vengeance is for daughter Zion, for the controversy of the daughter Zion. Remember, this is daughter Zion's enemy. God's dethroning the daughter of Edom, the daughter of the Chaldeans for the daughter of Zion. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord our of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Does she not rule? Who's your queen? I was wroth with my people. God said he was angry with his people. I've polluted my inheritance and I've given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou verily laid thy yoke. And thou said, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou did not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did thou remember the later end of it. Therefore, hear this now, thou that art given to pleasures. That's why it's, she's called the great whore that dwells carelessly, that says in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit a widow. That's why God killed her husband the other day. She's a widow now. Neither shall I know the loss of children. God speaks of her, um, him taking her children in Revelations and in Isaiah. Right here, and another scriptures in Isaiah and in Jeremiah, God speaks of taking her children, her princes, and taking her children in re in 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 um revelations but this is it here in Isaiah chapter 47 she said and thou says i shall be a lady forever so that did thou not lay these things to thy heart neither did thy remember the later end of it therefore hear now this thou that are given to pleasures great whore that dwells carelessly that says in thy heart i am and none else besides me I shall not sit a widow. God killed her husband. Neither shall I know the loss of children. That's next. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. 
they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. He said, these two things shall come upon thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection, in their appointed time, in a moment, in a day, the, the husband's gone. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said none sees me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge it has perverted thee, and thou said in thy heart I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt suddenly not be able to put it off, the desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherewith thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou may prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers and the stargazers, the monthly procrastinators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. That's why it says the fire and the fire. Her flames go up with fire. In Revelations 18 and 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Back to Isaiah. What does it say? In one hour shall her judgment come, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And it says in a moment, but these things shall, shall come unto thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. Back to Revelations. Therefore shall her plague come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord that judges her. And let's talk about there's her children being mentioned in Revelation as well. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she has for she says in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord that judges her. See this thing that God says, reward her even as she has rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, in the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. How much has she glorified herself? And she says, I sit a queen and I am no widow and shall see no sorrow. What does Isaiah say about her? Therefore, hear this now, thou that are given to pleasures, that dwells carelessly, that says in thy heart, I am and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in a day. In a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none sees me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it has perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none's bills beside me. Therefore, evil shall come upon thee and thou shalt not know from whence it rises. And mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thy enchantments, 
and with the multitude of thy sorceries, which thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shall be able to profit, if so be thou may prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counselors. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly procrastinators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Nahum talks about her. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored horlet, mystery horlet, Babylon, Grabalon, the great whore, because of the multitude of thy whoredoms of the well-favored horlet, the mistress of witchcrafts that sells nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I'm against thee, says the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Now, talking about the burnings. Like, all thy strongholds shall be like fig trees, and the first ripe fruit figs are, I'm sorry, all thy strongholds shall be like fig trees, but the first stripe figs, if they be shaken, they shall even fall into the mouth of the eater. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women, the gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thy enemies. The fire shall devour thy bars. Draw thee waters for the siege. Fortify the strongholds. Go into clay and tread the mortar. Make strong the buckle, the bricklin. There shall the fire devour thee. The sword shall cut thee off. Remember her fire goes up of her burning. At Stand afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys their merchandise anymore. The merchandise of gold, so that's all about her. And let's go back to here. So when you read the scriptures, you understand who it's talking about. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. Isaiah 34 and 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. For the day that is redeemed. Now Jeremiah 50 and 15 talks about her judgment. Shout against her round about. She has given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she has done due unto her. Revelations 18 and 6. Reward her even as she has rewarded you and double unto her. Double according to her works in the cup which she has filled. Fill to her double. Jeremiah 50 and 26. Come against her from the utmost border. Open her storehouses. Cast up her as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing be left. Jeremiah 50 and 28. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in, la in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Isaiah 47 and 6. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient. How thou has thou verily laid thy yoke? You know, daughter Zion is the ancient and the law, the honorable. Isaiah 52 and 2, shake thyself from the dust, or I sit down. O daughter of Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands off thy neck, O captive daughter of thy daughter of Zion, because God delivers her from Babylon. And he's talking to the daughter of Babylon. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Nahum 3 and 5, I will discover the skirts upon thy face. So you know God is discovering her nakedness. The great whore. Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me saying, Come unto me, come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornications. And upon her forehead was 
was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of whorlets and abominations of the earth. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornications, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies, because the, the home three and four, because of the multitudes of the whoredoms of the well favored whorlet. She's the well favored whorlet. The mistress of witchcraft that sells nations through her whoredoms and these through her witchcrafts. And Isaiah tells you about her witchcrafts. Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sources wherewith thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shall be able to profit. If so, thou may prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers and the stargazers the monthly procrastinator stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon thee. Revelations 18 and 10. Stand afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour thy judgment is come. Uh, Isaiah 47 and 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them. Thou shalt not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants, from thy youth. Didn't you say all the merchants of the earth? Isaiah, it's the talking about the same woman. From thy youth, they have... They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Great Britain's a rich country. Thus shall thou be, and none of her, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. None's going to help her. None are going to help her. Um, I don't know why my computer just bounced back. Forgive me, people of God. It's forgive me. Oh, none shall save thee. So none's going to save her. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies, because it's a rich country. And standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep, and mourn over her, for no man buys the merchandise anymore. The merchandise of gold. So it just goes in to tell you about the other things that she sold. And slaves and souls of men. What else? Slaves and souls of men. Revelation 17 and 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the, with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the mar martyrs of Christ. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration and slaves and souls of men same woman Nahum 3 and 16 thou has multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven that's why it says her stargazers the canker worm spoils and flee it so flies away because of the multitude of thy whoredoms the well-favored whorlet same woman behold i'm against thee god is against her as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Thou, And thou says, I shall be a lady forever. So thou did not lay these things to thy heart, neither did remember the later end of it. So given to pleasure, that's why it's called the great whore. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters.
with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the fornication of her with the wine of her fornication the woman was arrayed in purple purple's royalty upon her forehead was the name written mystery babylon the great great britain the mother of horlits and the abominations of the earth but these two things shall come upon thee in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood revelation i sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow therefore shall her pains come in one day what does it say in one day the loss of children in one day death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire and i say it talks about her being for burned with fire for strong as the lord that judges her the day of vengeance revelations 18 and 5 for her sins have reached unto heaven and god has remembered her iniquities this is talking about a woman her sins reached up to heaven the daughter of babylon's sins reached up to heaven reward her even as she has rewarded you and double unto her according to her works and the cup which she has filled fill it to her double jeremiah 50 and 50 and shout against her round about she has given her hand her foundations are fallen her walls are thrown down it is the vengeance of the lord take vengeance upon her as she has done do unto her isn't the vengeance of the lord the day of god daughter zion's redemption Yeah, take vengeance on her, the daughter Babylon. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. Didn't he say her loss of children? Isaiah, Jeremiah speaks of her loss of children. Isaiah speaks of her loss of children. And Revelation speaks of her loss of children. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and her men of war shall be cut off in that day, says the Lord. Jeremiah 50 and 29, call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against a round about let none of let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work according to all that she has done do unto her for she has been proud against the lord against the holy one of israel that's why he calls her O thou most proud in isaiah standing afar off for the fear of her torment alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city for in one hour thy judgment comes and there followed another angel saying babylon is fallen is fallen the that great city the great city of babylon because she made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom that dwells in the land of us the cup also shall pass through unto thee thou shalt be drunken and thou sh and shall make thyself naked. 2 Nephi 10 and 16. Wherefore, he that fights against Zion, both Jew and Gentile, both bond and free, both male and female, shall perish. For they are they who are the whore of all the earth. For they are they who are not for me are against me, says our God. For I will fulfill my promises, which I have made unto the children of men. He's going to fulfill his promise unto daughter Zion. So if you're not with God's promise on this, then you're against him, he's saying. For I will fulfill my promises, which I have made unto the children of men. God doesn't lie. So what he wrote about daughter Zion, he's going to fulfill it. That I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. And he said unto me, behold, there are saved two churches only. The one is the church of the Lamb of God, and the other is the church of the devil. Wherefore, whosoever belongs not to the church of the Lamb of God belongs to the great church, which is the mother of abominations, the great whore. And she is the whore of all the earth. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of whorelets and abominations of the earth. The great whore. Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, they're going to hate the queen, and shall make her desolate and naked. That's why God said he's going to make her naked and bare. He's going to lift up her skirt. Her nakedness shall be discovered and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Isaiah says burning with fire. Jeremiah talks about her burning with fire. Nahum talks about her being devoured with fire. Revelation 
talks about her being devoured in fire in Revelations 18, 17, a couple places. Her being naked in the home three and five. Behold, I'm against thee, says the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the na nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. 2 Nephi 10 and 13. And he that fights against Zion shall perish, says God, for he that raises up a king, for he that raises up a king against me shall perish. For I, the Lord, the King of heaven, will be their king, and I will be a light unto them forever. That hear my words. So you can't go setting up your own king and queen. God said he'll be against you. You'll perish. Wherefore, for this cause, that my covenants may be fulfilled, which I have made unto the children of men. Remember, God made covenant with the house of David. God made covenant with the daughter Zion. So he said, for this cause, that his covenant may be fulfilled, which he made unto the children of men. And if you don't, if you go against the covenants he made to the people already, God doesn't lie. He said, you shall perish. Wherefore, for this cause, that my covenants may be fulfilled, which I have made unto the children of men, that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. I must needs to destroy the secret works of darkness and of murders and of abominations. Wherefore, he that fights against Zion, both Jew and Gentile, both fought and free, both male and female shall perish. So didn't I tell you anybody who fights against this woman, daughter Zion? Now he's telling you. And the land, the woman Zion and the land Zion. He said, wherefore he that fights against Zion, both Jew and Gentile, both bond and free, both male and female shall perish. For they are they who are... For they are they who are the whore of all the earth. For they who are not for me are against me, says our God. Because remember, God loves the gates of daughter Zion more than all the places of the, the tent to Jacob, the, the gates of Jacob. He loves daughter Zion's. For I will fulfill my promises, which I have made unto the children of men, that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. And all the nations that fight against Zion, and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. Yeah, it shall be unto them even as unto a hungry man which dreams. And behold, he eats, but he awakes. And his soul is empty or like unto a thirsty man which dreams. And behold, he drinks, but he awakes. And behold, he is faint and his soul has appetite. Yeah, even so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. Listen that fight against the woman Zion, all the nations that fight against Zion, which is the daughter of Babylon, and distress her, this is talking about the woman, and this is talking about Mount Zion, the place. So anybody who fight against daughter Zion, the woman, and distress her, okay, you're judged. You perish, God said. Jeremiah 50 and 26, come against her, from the uttermost borders, open her storehouses, the queen, cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing be left of her, daughter Babylon. <coughs> <coughs> Jeremiah 20, 50 and 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work. According to all that she has done, do unto her, for she has been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Okay, um, her fire burning, burn her with fire, it says in Revelation 17 and 16. And these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Nahum 3 and 15, and there the fire, and there shall the fire devour thee the sword shall cut thee off it shall eat thee up like a canker worm make thyself many as the canker worm make thyself many as the locust thou has multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven so um i'm pretty sure as it tells her about her canker worm this is god restoring judah in joel 2 and 25 and i'll restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And God talking about the losing her of her children. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. And all her 
men of war shall be cut off in that day. Um, I am, and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children, not according to God. Her young men shall fall in the streets. And in Revelation, she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and s sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit queen, I am no widow, and shall see no sorrows. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. Yeah, her young men shall fall in the streets. So uh, recompense her. So these are the scriptures that you can read. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, in one moment, just like it says. Two things shall come upon thee in, in a moment, in one day, same thing. In a moment, one day, death and mourning. The fire shall burn them. Um, I hope you take this up with God. And this is who helped her. Ethiopia and Egypt were her strength. And it was infinite. Put in Lubin where thy helpers. See? Selassie, the idol. The Ethiopian who was her helper. And all her wickedness. To pretend like she was from the house of the real Israelites. And reaping all the benefits of the real children of God. The plunder. The robber. The land of lies and robbery. The great whore. Yeah, so these are the scriptures. Um, you could take this up. Tiff with fasting. Woe unto the bloody city. The great whore. Mystery of Babylon. Yeah, daughter of Babylon. And she had help. As God, if you read God's word and you let him explain what he's saying to you. What his word is saying to you. You'll understand that. She had help to do it. Ethiopia and Egypt were her strength. Look, have a blessed day.